Are they still drunk? Are they hungover? Sophie and Daniel, definitely not sober. Hi everybody, welcome to episode 135 of the Hangover You Don't Deserve podcast. My name's Daniel, this is Sophie. Say hello, Sophie. Hello. <laughs> you threw me off by not saying Sophie. Yeah. This episode, we'll make sure that we actually discuss my birthday, Christmas and New Year, because we didn't really get round to it last time. Uh, but before we go any further, say a quick thank you to everybody who supports us on Patreon. Patreon.com slash ahyddpod if you want to support the show. Uh, Adria Bowman, Emma Rose Francis, Jared, Lucy Murray, Jay Powell, Diane Small, Chris Braithwaite, and Mike L. Yeah, very, very gentle round of applause by the microphone. For <laughs> Golf claps, everybody. Um, that's the business out of the way. Now for the pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but when you said business, I was thinking, like, what's the next bit going to be? Like, party? Like, I could just think of that mullet thing. Oh, business in the front. Yeah. Party in the back. So, go on. What's the pleasure? <laughs> it's been a pleasure having me here for the What's past few the... days. Um, liquor in the front, poker in the back. That's the pleasure. Yeah. No, that's the, that's Oh, that that's like phrase. a bar. Liquor in the front, liquor. poker in the back. Yeah, and then there's the back room where they play cards. Yeah. That's what it means. That's what that means. So, for my birthday, I got more kitchen appliances, and now I think I have them all. All the available appliances that exist. That's amazing. Oh my god, this is so, actually, this is quite weird, and I'm sorry if you don't have this, but there were several, like, kitchen items that I was thinking of getting you um, for your birthday, like, because I just saw them, like, a waffle maker and that kind of thing. I have a waffle maker. You have it? I thought you might have. Yeah. And if you get a waffle maker that you can buy in like a shop here, it's usually the little circle ones. But mine I got off Amazon, so it makes four big squares. Also, you've had waffles here, so. Oh, yeah, like one time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I don't always have waffles ready for you whenever you arrive. Um, yeah, I've got the waffle maker. Got the toasty sandwich maker. Uh, got the... The filter coffee machine, got the coffee pod machine, and then, you know, like microwave, kettle, toaster, the things that everyone has. Things that even the poor people have, you know, not like me, rich in, rich in kitchen appliances, <laughs> poor in every other way. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I was thinking the other day about um, the kitchen things I've got, but nothing. Um, luckily, like, a lot of things came with the flat that I'm renting, but I was thinking about, like, a toaster and i was like yeah there's no toaster in that flat because i don't really eat toast right yeah i don't i when i was clearing up for the party i decided i'm putting everything that was on the countertops in the cupboards because mm. i don't use the toaster and, and so you're gonna use it at the party no no but like i mean i think i'm just gonna keep it in the cupboard yeah get it out if i need to use it because for the amount of times that i use a toaster it's not worth having it there all the time taking up space because i don't have yeah totally i have a very frustrating kitchen because it's very big for the size of the house but there's not a lot of countertop space. Yeah. It, yeah. Because I was looking at your oven before. Like, this is a really nice oven, but it's like, it's got like brick walls around it. Like, yeah. it's, got, it's like fenced off. <laughs> yeah, because it's it's been fitted into what used to be a chimney. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. It's cool though. Yeah, but anyway, then when I got back to the flat, there is a toaster there. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, my, I just use it so little, my eyes just, pass over it like oh, it I get, doesn't exist I, I get that completely because if i that's how i end up in like living in such a cluttered yes. space because if i put something somewhere like oh when you walk past take that in the kitchen or like sort through that pile when you when you get a minute or whatever as soon as you put it down it's like furniture that's where that goes now yeah now in my head that doesn't even exist because i don't see it mm-hmm. i totally agree do the thing put things on the stairs like oh when i go upstairs to take them up just so i don't have to go up now and then just walk past them. <laughs> then you're just playing like hopscotch on the yeah, stairs. Yeah, yeah. Now, <laughs> there's, now there's a junk. health and safety hazard on my staircase. <laughs> uh, so I got a new microwave because my microwave has been broken for actually as long as I've had it because it was second hand. Because uh, my ex's mum gave it to us and I kept it when she moved out. So... 
she agree to this? Like, she didn't fight it on her. You mean like a prenup? <laughs> no, I mean, I mean like... I don't have a... I can't... There's no contract I can pull out the drawer to, like, prove it. Okay. If she sues me for the microwave... It's I'm, broken, I, I, took, so I took it to the tip. Have it. <laughs> took it to the tip. So if she sues me for the microwave, I'm going down for it. <laughs> That's it. Hard off to jail. Mm. Um, Sorry, I, did I just use your microwave for the first time before you did? No, I um, I used it to make... Uh, Amy bought a microwave meal just so we could test the microwave. Ah. Sure it worked, so. Okay, good. Um, but other than that, yes. I, I haven't used it. Oh, sorry. It's fine. It, 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 it does the job. It's very good. It's nice. Right. I don't think it's like a... It's not got like a virginity to lose. It's, oh, I don't know. It feels wrong to... Like, that would be like sleeping in someone's bed before they've slept in it. I don't feel quite the same about that. But for Christmas, I got a mattress topper. Ah, oh, nice. And that's going to change my life because I have the worst mattress in the world. Yeah, I've got a really, really the cheapest mattress topper you could find, and it made a slight difference. But it's just making me think like, I maybe I should just splash out because if the cheapest one <laughs> makes a slight difference, the expensive one must be fucking so good. Yeah, I mean, it would probably be weird if you went and lay on my bed, but <laughs> if you want to, then you're welcome to go and do that. Just because okay. it feels like lying on a cloud. Ah. Oh. It's very soft. I like it. You're not supposed to sleep on a soft mattress, are you? I think it's bad for your back or whatever, but I, I like it soft. I like him a bit harder. <laughs> bit firmer, is that it? Firmer, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I've i got like a bad back anyway, so, you know. that I prefer sleeping on the couch because it's it's comfortable, padded. I always think that, but then when I'm on the couch... I'm like, oh, there's like no space here. It's like, I can't roll over because if I roll over, I'm on the floor. Okay, yeah, the the depth of the couch is important if you're going to sleep on it. Mm-hmm. Like when um, on Christmas Eve, I stayed in my mum's house mm. and my brother was already there in, the, in what actually is the bed that I bought. Um, Do you not all have a room there anymore? Yes, but so like one room is basically a junk room. So there's stuff all over the beds. So you wouldn't want to sleep in there really. The other room, the bed is so uncomfortable that I'd rather sleep on the floor. Mm. And then the room with my bed, which is amazing. My brother had already arrived and claimed it. And he said, oh, well, you know, I've got the dog here as well. Like, I think it'll just be easier if I sleep here. And I was like, yeah, I know. What a scam. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not seeing the connection there. No. I mean, that's a good play by him, but <laughs> I don't. <laughs> um so I, but I was happy to take the couch until I was on it trying to sleep. <laughs> I feel like a couch feels so comfortable in the daytime. Mm. Anytime I'm on a couch in the daytime, I'm like, I could go to sleep instantly right now. But if I try to like settle down, it's no so good. It's kind of like you can take, I can take a nap in like a really weird position. But when I try to go to sleep at night, it takes me like hours. Yeah, I know what you mean. I don't nap, so I don't have that, mm. but. Um, but you can get comfortable maybe in like a weird yeah uh, uh, like if you're watching TV or whatever yeah and you're lying down you're like this is so nice I don't want to get up and go to bed and then mm-hmm. as soon as you get up and go to bed then you can't sleep yeah you're like so uncomfortable yeah that's this is not relaxed that that is one of the many reasons I just sleep on the couch mm. yeah, I get it but maybe I'll start well I should start using the bed now I have this mattress top of yeah that, that should be comfortable help. in there so that that's a good christmas gift um so i i i, I got the air fryer which is i'm very excited to use i don't know what the first thing i'm gonna make in it is but i uh, i told you last time we saw each other about the friend mus that we had oh uh, yeah and they made they did their sprouts in the air fryer and they were so good so that's what really made me want the air fryer. It's like, it, you can do vegetables without them being shit. <laughs> I, I had a conversation on Twitter a couple of years ago because I saw someone saying something about broccoli. And I was like, I don't, I'm not trying to be a dick here. How else would you cook broccoli? Because in my family, all the veg just gets boiled. Yes. Until it has no life left in oh it. Oh my God, same. And but I, I didn't know there were alternatives. You can roast veg and it's so much nicer. But I guess 
when you're doing potatoes and meat, there's less space in the oven. I don't know why my family didn't do that because it's so much nicer. But you can you can roast it, but also fry it is the thing that people said about broccoli, and I oh. tried it. Fucking great. That sounds good. Yeah. So air fryer is going to be how I cook all the... my veg. Yeah. But now that I now that I have it, feel like maybe I'll cook now because I, I haven't. You. I haven't bought ingredients. I haven't bought an item of food. Like, I buy meal deals and then microwave meals. So I have meal deal for lunch, microwave meal at night. This is so sad. And then the other half of the week, I'm in Liverpool, and I we oh. order food. Okay, that's most, not sad. Most days. So I haven't bought a thing that you put with something else to make a meal in nine months. That's crazy. I haven't... Like, there's not been any frozen food in my freezer or anything. I defrosted the freezer for the ready for the party so i could put more ice in there and there was half a bag of sweet corn and a bag of hash browns that was the entire contents of my uh, of my fridge and freezer that was all the food that was in there (laughs) yeah i'm not surprised um and when were they from don't know but they had freezer burn (laughs) so yeah exactly and I'd never opened them, the hash browns. Wow. <laughs> so, but what I did was, instead of throwing them out when I defrosted the freezer, I just cooked all of them, and then we had them as a snack. Well, that's better. Let me tell you something. The freezer burn actually made them perfect. Really? Yep. Crispy on the outside, soft in the middle. Fantastic. Thanks. Best hash browns I've ever had. Oh. So there you go. You just got to leave your hash browns in the freezer for nine months. I hate hash browns. Don't do that then. Okay. Do you like tots? Oh my god, I did not know that we had tots until I you ordered them at your party. Oh, you mean in in this country? I've never yeah, seen I've them. Very few places that I've ever seen them, but they're they're one of the best forms of potato. Are I they? Think. What I didn't I did taste a couple, but I didn't really like analyze it enough. Is it kind of like hash brown the inside? No, Is no, it it's more like a chip. With like uh, with a crispier edge, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, it seems it's, okay. It's, it's like a ball of mash fried around the edge or something. Oh uh, yeah, I like that. I don't know what it's like. It's yeah, it's good. But yeah, you don't get that a lot here. But we did just get Popeyes, and that's very exciting because that it's delicious. And, what uh, did I get from there? I can't even remember that at all. It was just like a regular burger to me. Did I get a burger? Spicy chicken burger. Yeah. Yeah. It just tasted like anything I'd ever had before. I I completely. Do not believe you. That, if you put that I next to a fucking McChicken sandwich. Mm, I've, I've not had that for a while. I, I think I just don't really like that kind of... I don't dislike it, but if I'm having something like that, it's probably like a last resort. When you say something like that, you mean a chicken burger or Cajun food? A chicken burger. Like a fast food burger. That right, is never you... something I would choose, like really... Because you wouldn't go for fast food or because you would go for something else? Because probably I'd go for something that's like, I don't know, I, w- I would rather get like popcorn chicken than a burger. What would you get if you went to McDonald's? A wrap. I like that. Burger King. I hate it. Wouldn't go. It's horrible. It's infinitely better than McDonald's. So that's... Well, to be honest, the last time I tried it, I got a beef burger or some sort of burger, which... I hate it from anywhere, so... Yeah, I never really go for a beef burger. No. What do they have, though, other than that? Um, well, they, they have those chili cheese bites. They do have chili cheese bites. They're good. That's the greatest thing. And you can just get a box of 20 of them. That can kind of... <laughs> that'll do you. Um, they, do, they do a sharing box now that I like to get for myself that's got, um, like, chicken... I think they call them chicken fries, but, like, chicken fingers yeah. and onion rings. McDonald's don't have onion rings, so that's another plus. Um... And chili cheese bites and chicken nuggets. Mm, that sounds okay. And then just comes with dips. Uh, I just think the dips are always shit as well. Yeah. Or um, if you order it, they always forget to include them, which is like the worst. That's true. Uh, but Burger King always has like some interesting, like here's the special burger right now. Whereas McDonald's is like, every it feels like every three days McDonald's say, the all new spicy burger and it's got <laughs> zesty salsa on it and that's yeah, it. Yeah, it's exactly the same as all the others. I fucking, for... I hate McDonald's so much wow. and I really, really think Burger King's ingredients are infinitely better. The menu options are infinitely better. 
the only thing McDonald's has is there's more of them. Mm. It's easier and to go to cheaper. McDonald's. Yeah, it's cheaper because it sucks. Yeah, probably. It's cheaper because it tastes like dehydrated feet. Yeah, and it's like so. I feel so dehydrated after I've eaten it. Yeah, it's 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 horrible. It's horrible to look at. You take a burger from McDonald's and you put it next to a burger from Burger King. One of them looks like a burger, and the other one looks like you left a burger in the sun. The other one looks. McDonald's burgers look like in a SpongeBob movie when SpongeBob and Patrick get taken out of the water and they shrivel up. <laughs> that's what that's what it looks like they did to a real burger when you get a burger at McDonald's. Wow. I hate it. You're so passionate about this. It's I have very few like I know I rant about everything, but there's very few like principles I have in my life and I will not give McDonald's money. Wow, at all? That's crazy. At all. It's not crazy. I mean I think good for you absolutely that's all the only time i ever eat mcdonald's in my life is on tour because i don't get to choose what we eat there Mm, okay any other time like if i should want mcdonald's i'll just go somewhere else i'll eat later i'm not i'm not i i it's never ever an option that's acceptable to me i i fucking hate it and i don't agree with the size that they are i don't think it's justified it doesn't make any sense they aren't the best of anything no, I totally agree. The only thing McDonald's are the best at is being McDonald's, and somehow they got everyone fucking hooked on it. Well, we're addicted to the chemicals. I don't know. But, but they taste better everywhere else. And also, Yeah, it's I, like I, one of those things, though. Like, I do this with a lot of places where I'm like, oh, really? I think about somewhere, and I'm craving the taste. And then I think, I'm sure every time I go here, afterwards i feel like shit and i think that was horrible but every time i just give in and do this make the same mistake again every time i'm hungover every time i'm hungover i think oh i want chinese food really what i want is fruit and vegetables but my body's like you want something sweet you want something refreshing really i'm dehydrated and i need water (laughs) but then i order chinese food and then i wake up in the night ill because i'm so dehydrated and i'm like my stomach's hurting and my head's hurting. And every time, and even if I'm not hungover and I eat Chinese food, that happens to me. <laughs> wake up ill in the night and then I'm like... Extra salty. so strange that I'm ill right now. I can't believe it. And then <laughs> uh, when I eventually did figure it out, like this is definitely Chinese food that's doing this to me. You know what I didn't stop eating? Chinese food. Yeah, because it's so nice. Yeah, it's delicious. It's well worth it. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I think a lot of people will agree with me on this because Taco Bell's still in business. It's worth it. You know, like... Oh, yeah. Oh, oh you, you, your stomach might hurt later. You might have the shits. It's, you know, it's worth it. Mm. And I think... You know who's going to agree with me? Lactose intolerant people. Because they fucking love ice cream and cheese. That's all they eat. Yeah, they eat that more than any normal... Yeah. Like, why do I keep saying this? They eat this more than any lactose tolerant person. <laughs> tolerant. Yeah. That's... Yeah. Because I'm very tolerant of lactose, but I don't need cheese on every meal. And yet, if you speak to any lactose intolerant person, they will act like there's no menu option that doesn't have cheese on it yeah. anywhere. Yeah, I, I, I've this is this is a this is a thing I've always felt, but also one of our friends who listens is lactose intolerant, and so. I'm like, I'm like, I'm gonna go in harder on this point forever now. I, won't, oh, <laughs> make I this thought point. you were gonna like say less because one of our listeners is like these intolerant. No, 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 no. Because I say this to, to her. Mm-hmm. In fact, everyone I meet who's lactose intolerant, I'm like, hey, can you just explain the deal about how you all love ice cream so much? Because ice cream is great, but like, I don't eat it every day, mm. and you guys do. <laughs> <laughs> Well, but I think if I had lactose intolerance, I would also just eat the stuff. Yeah, I'd do it, yeah. yeah. Exactly. That's what we're saying. Yeah. You know you're going to feel bad, but the payoff is you think the food's delicious at the time. Yeah, and also you can get sick any moment in your life you could get sick. Mm-hmm. So, you know. And also, think about it from this perspective. If someone said, oh, if you have, like, ten beers, you're going to be ill the next day. If someone said that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. If that was, like, the first if the first time you ever got warned, like, oh, you, you get sick if you drink a lot of beer. Okay. 
Yeah. I'm still going to do it. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing, I guess. And in fact, I get really awful hangovers and I drink more than most people I know. So <laughs> I guess I'm the same. I'm the guy. Yeah, you're, you're the worst. You're alcohol <laughs> intolerant. And you're intolerant when you're drinking alcohol. Intolerable. <laughs> Is that the way? Yeah, but it took you a minute to land the joke. So it's not worth <laughs> it. Yeah. You're intolerant. Of, <laughs> you're like, you're I'm like a racist. bigot. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> it's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> i have kind of like kind of a reverse problem like i buy a lot of i buy in a lot of ingredients and i like cook quite a lot i think mm. um but like because because you have to buy things in bulk really yeah unless i have like really similar meals for a week or more then everything just goes moldy. Yeah, and I'm so sick of having this conversation with people because you say like, oh, when you live alone, I know you don't live alone, but you live I cook, I eat shift, alone. So you eat alone. Yeah. Like When you live alone, you can't buy things in the quantities that you need for one meal. And if you do, it's so expensive. And so you're always throwing stuff out. And then every single person's response is, why don't you just batch cook and freeze it? Because mm. I don't want bolognese every day. Mm-hmm. And and you can't, like, freeze everything. Some stuff does not freeze well. So what you're saying is I have to only eat things that I can mass produce. <laughs> and then I have to eat them for days and days. So you and might as well just eat ready meals. What's the difference? Exactly. Because I live right near the big Tesco. so I can <laughs> Oh, you just... have the best selection of ready meals? Yeah, and I can yeah. go every day. That's mm -hmm. my local shop is the big supermarket. Oh, so so I can just go out. Like, I mean, you know, work from home now, but I would get in and I'd be like, right, I'll decide what I want to eat now because now is when I'm going to eat. So then I can decide what I want to eat. Whereas other people are like, hmm, I guess I'll just buy everything because this month I might want this at some point. Yeah. What do I want to eat for every meal every day this week? Let me just decide now. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I can't it is, live like that. It is miserable to, to, to an extent. And I, I've got to, I've got to strike a better balance because I order food a lot. Me too. In fact, not not when I'm home alone, but when I'm in Liverpool with Aisha, or if Aisha's here, we order food a lot because I don't care about eating the same meal deal every day and then getting the three, like the cheapest set of ready meals that are three for seven fifty or whatever. I'll do that, and that can be my week, right? But I'm not going to put Aisha through that when she's here. <laughs> but just because she's here for two days doesn't mean I suddenly have a wealth of food in the kitchen to cook, so then mm. we have to order food. Yeah, I get yeah. it. And obviously, have to is a strong terminology. We don't. Yeah. I could do better, and what I'm saying is I should. Yeah, that that's growth. Or, you know, uh, recognising space for growth. Accountability. Yes. At least I know my flaws. Maybe I'll do something about them. Mm. You know? Acceptance is the first step to healing. I don't know. <laughs> is that Yoda? Is it? No, no, I'm just so wise. <laughs> oh. No, he would say healing is fear leads to acceptance. Anger, anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. I can't. I can't even remember what I said though. When we were at our weekly pub quiz. On Thursday, the last round of the quiz, uh, you have to buzz in and shout the answer, and then every all the other teams, like if you buzz in first, you get to shout the answer, and all the other teams vote on whether they think you're right or not. And so, like, you get twenty points if you're right, and they get ten if they they vote on whether they think you're right or not. Like if they agree with your answer. What kind of questions that? Well, so, well, any question. Because if, if I said the answer and you thought, no, that's wrong, then you wouldn't... What? So you get points based on whether other people think it's right, not whether no, it's actually right? No, 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 no. If you answer the question correctly, you get 20 points. Oh. If they think it's if they think what you said is correct and they say yes and it is, then they get 10 points. Oh. That's weird, but okay. <clears throat> it's just one round. Anyway, we weren't doing good that week. And... I managed to jump us up from fourth place to second place. Not bad. By knowing 
about midi chlorians from Star Wars. I feel like that's quite common knowledge, but I guess it's not. I don't think so because it's only in the prequels. They don't talk about it in the originals. So yeah. anyone over a certain age, if they didn't continue, what, anyone over fifty who loved Star Wars originally, but then decided not to watch the rest. Well, I mean, most people over a certain age hate the prequels and don't watch them. So yeah, but I feel like you'd know about it. I don't know. Maybe I I'm know. just basing this on people I know. Yeah, you know a lot of Star Wars nerds. I do actually. Yeah. 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 Weird. Um, not that I'm not one. I knew the answer. Uh, you're one of the ones that I know. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I, my fucking heart was racing <laughs> so bad. Because you had to shout out. I them. had to shout out an answer. And I knew I was right. Yeah. But, but imagine it's... if it was a question you were uncertain about and so you had to passionate. shout an answer out and people might disagree with you. Uh -huh. At least it wasn't like you were on a game show and people would put it on YouTube afterwards and laugh at it. Yeah, I guess. But then the woman who runs the quiz kind of made a joke about you being a nerd. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, not. she didn't say that. She wasn't, like, mean, but, like, she said, I think she said, I'm assuming that's right, because why? Because well, otherwise, why would you know a word like that? <laughs> okay, that's And I fun. said, shut up, Helen. <laughs> oh, my God, you're on first name terms with the quiz master? Let me tell you something, Sophie. <laughs> not only are we on first name terms with the quiz master, but her replacement that sometimes comes in if she can't make it, um... He, at Christmas, was like, oh, wow, I love your Christmas jumper. It's my bowling suit one. Uh, and he's like, where did you get it? Now, people who say, oh, like shirt or whatever, it's I, I don't go down that conversation any further than is normal, right? Because I'm just like, thanks, that's it. Yeah, that's I don't want to have a conversation about it. When me and Aisha first got together, she couldn't believe that when people were like, oh, I love your bowling suit jacket, that I don't then go, oh, well, I work for them and blah, blah, blah. Oh, my God, no one does that. That's so she, embarrassing. She, she was like, "Like, do, do you not just, like, want, do you not, like, you're not, like, excited? Do you want to tell them? I was like, do you want to talk to that stranger all night? Yeah. No. Because <laughs> we're in a fucking club and they're not going to walk away. We're in a pop punk nightclub. They are not going to go away if I tell them I work yeah, for like, a pop punk Yeah, like, I don't band. want this strange man to think I'm cool. <laughs> yeah. But he'd said a couple of things about when I was wearing both suit merch in the past. And then he asked me where I got it. Mm. And then there was like an awkward silence because <laughs> Aisha, Aisha for some reason <laughs> chipped in <laughs> and she was like, I think they still have some left on the official store though, don't they? Which was, and she just, she only said it because she was drunk. It, she has no idea. <laughs> she was just volunteering no information that she had gleaned from nothing. And so then I was just looking at her like, why did you just say that? So then there was an awkward silence. So I just said, I work for the band. <laughs> and it turns out he's like a big fan. And That's I just, crazy. I, anyone who says that, I assume they know one song and they're like, oh, I remember those guys. Yeah. And uh, so then I was chatting to him for a minute and he was like, oh, do you have Facebook? And he added me on Facebook and I went on his profile and one of his profile pictures was him with Joe from Pat and Penny. Oh, that's so crazy. So, yeah. Maybe he's that guy that I saw in the swan with a patent pendant because he on one time. That could have been him. Probably. Anyway, so yeah, not just on first name terms with a quiz master, but also Facebook friends with her with her substitute teacher guy. <laughs> I don't know what like I don't know what you would call that. I don't the supply master. Supply master, that's what it is. <laughs> substitute master. <laughs> Submaster? Sub that, that's opposite, isn't it? It's like subdom. It doesn't make sense. It's like a oxymoron. A Switch. Oh, yeah. You know more than me. A Nintendo Switch. <laughs> PSP. Hey, that's... I'm pretty small. <laughs> oh! Stop. <laughs> it's not that kind of show. PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> Man. You really had me in the first half. A soda stream. That's the next <gasps> kitchen appliance that I've got. Oh. It's not been delivered yet, which is why I forgot to say. Um, but it's it's on the way. That is like um, such a the stuff of dreams. Even though if I had one, I don't think I'd enjoy anything that it made. Because <laughs> all I drink is full fat Coke from a can. You only like it from a can as well. Yeah. And I don't like really like enjoy any other fizzy drinks much. You've just given me an idea. What if I... You get cans, like... Get rid of all my cups and get aluminium cups. Huh. I think that would 
give you the same ex- not you personally i mean for me maybe yeah i only drink out of because cans you well. said last night that drinking fizzy drinks from a mug hits different it, it, yeah it's so different you didn't say hits different i didn't but. say that I, no. <laughs> I was like wow i can't believe you're making me sound like a prick on this fucking <laughs> podcast hits different bro um i don't know if it's if there's a nostalgia element because it's something i would have done as a kid mm. Yeah, I agree, but I do think it has a different effect. Yes, it gets in your nose. Yeah, and uh, that's enjoyable. <laughs> yes, <It's>... yeah. <laughs> I can't breathe while it's happening, and that's I like that. It's like living on the edge because you'd also be doing that thing as a kid where you like lift drink... up with you, two hands. You, you drink and you can't breathe, and you like just gulp all you drink down, and then you go. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> it's that, but like also it's coke, and, and yeah. you can't breathe because it's like all in your nose and everything. Yeah, that's yeah. so exciting. I want to feel like I'm gonna die. Every second I'm drinking a, a, mm. a mug of Coke. <laughs> uh, but also, they have those like aluminium bottles in, in America. I guess there they call them uh, aluminium bottles. Aluminium. Yeah, for beer aluminum and stuff. Aluminium bottles, they say. Bottles. Ba- battles. Isn't it weird when English people say bottle? Bottle with, yeah. That's like such a, like, a commoner. Yeah, is that a speech impediment or... It's, it's like something that someone would say as a baby, and then for some reason, they don't. Yeah, they, don't, some, they never grow out of it. No one corrects them on it or oh. something. I guess I don't know. Same with um, saying like F instead of th. My old neighbour used to say frightened. <laughs> frightened. <laughs> and it feel like how often do people use the word frightened? But it was seemed like so often. It why is this coming up all the time? Why are you so frightened all the time? <laughs> <laughs> like she just enjoyed saying it. That is so strange. I don't know. Like it, it, again, the first time you try and say that word, I can see why it, why it might sound like that. But yeah. beyond that, I don't. When you get past like six, yeah, yeah. Can you not hear other people saying it? Is Maybe it not they, coming it's up? It's just like a. They think it's like colloquial slang, but really it's just colloquial. Isn't it colloquial? I don't think so. Ah, I see. Now you're frightened. <laughs> <laughs> anyway aluminium bottles and that's so maybe i've got cans yeah try it also i think you can get like cans for you know if you're making like canned goods like you, if some people like do like canon as a hobby or not a hobby it's like preserving food that they've made oh right okay but then they're more like tin cans. You wouldn't have like the ring pull thing, I guess. But some people make beer so, in their shed, don't they? Imagine if you did it with the cans. And then every time you want to drink, you had to use like a tin opener. Like, <laughs> you like just drink it from like the Jagger's Edge. <laughs> yeah. And yet when I said I was white trash on Facebook, I got banned for 24 hours. <laughs> for racism. Wow. So yeah. I've got all the kitchen appliances and oh a uh, um deep fat fryer. Oh really? Yeah. That's sick. I haven't used it yet. I I've had it two years what? and I'm too scared to use it. Fuck. <laughs> you could be making all kinds of chicken in that. Oh, two years, not Daniel. Just, not just chicken, I could be making donuts. <sighs> beignets. I can't that was believe what I you. I, it... I'm I am i am scared know, of having a big bucket of hot oil. Yeah, but grow up, I don't know. Oh, fair. Sophie said yesterday, I love telling people to grow up. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I was going to be on the receiving end of it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, I know, I know. I agree. I should grow up and just fucking set the oil on fire. Yeah. Or whatever it's... is the process. But don't forget not to put water on an oil fire. Yes. We're, we're, we're assuming there'll be a fire. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. There's definitely going to be a fire. <laughs> Let's get one thing straight. Um, yeah, but the hot, the idea of like a hot vat of oil in my kitchen is mm. scary to me. But yeah, you know, I work around them all day, and I've never been on fire, mm. and that's me. Mm. Yeah, but I would be unsupervised and untrained. Mm. Like I don't want to be, I don't want to be doing it and watching a YouTube how-to at the same time. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then drop your phone in there. <laughs> Deep fried iPhone. But yeah, I, I have all the appliances. God, I can't... Fuck. You could have like a small business selling... <laughs> you need... You know what your problem is though? You're too busy. If if I had all that stuff, I would need a week off to like gear it up to using that fryer for the first time. I don't get to take days off work 
for anything because you have to take days off for your other job because I'm I'm on tour when I take time off work so mm. I don't ever get a break in fact I'm off today and tomorrow because it's like leftover Christmas holidays so it had to be used at this time of year mm. and it's the first just day of nothing I've had but it's not nothing you're working on the podcast well yeah right exactly now. so I started the podcast that's the yeah I know I know I know and then tomorrow I'll stream so <laughs> That's you. Yeah, I mean, you've got to fill your time with something, but no, I know, I know. It's like I was supposed to be on jury service for two weeks, like last week and this week. Mm. I was there for one day, and you've done nothing since. I've done. I I've just been paralyzed with, um, I don't know, is it anxiety, like guilt of not doing anything, and also like the pressure of having free time. Yeah. Oh, I th- I think that's I think that's common that okay, people good. feel that. Um it it took me a long time to learn how to live alone because mm-hmm. like enjoy my own company. Yeah, because what do you do? That's yeah. a, that's what I'm a little bit like that with my spare time right now. I'm like well I could go somewhere but then I'd just be on my own. So I'm just going to sit at home alone. But yeah, yeah, but 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 when you sat at home alone, you still need to do something. You still need to do something, and and I really like watching movies, so I try and watch as much stuff as I can, and that's yeah. why I started making a list when we got sent home during COVID. I started making a list of everything because I was like, let me see how many things I can watch while we're at home for two weeks, and then obviously never went back. So now I just have a list every year of everything I watch. So I just try and watch as much as I possibly can because then I feel like at least I did something. You've accomplished. And I, can, I can look at the list and be like, look at all these things that I did. Yeah. Absorb new media, new culture. Culture. Oh, yes, you're so cultured. It's good. There's culture in film. It's art. It's an art form. No, I know. I was serious. Oh, okay, good. God, ev- every single time I'm sincere, which is not often, but <laughs> it's like people are like more offended than anything else I ever say. Because... You aren't ever you sincere, and so when you do it. say something sincere, it sounds like you're being even drier about how you're making fun of me. Right, yeah. It sounds like you're delivering it like, not only am I going to take the piss out of you, but it's not even funny, it's just that you're <laughs> whatever you're going to say. Yeah, it's so weird. Mm. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with the people around me, how they absorb. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with everyone else. And how they receive my... <laughs> personality (laughs) it's not my fault (laughs) yeah couldn't be you (laughs) what is sorry have you finished (laughs) go for it what is the games it's about the olympics no sorry that's boring let's not talk about it okay cool unless you want to okay i didn't (laughs) you're acting she's for the record she's pointing at my bookshelf which she sat next to you're acting like i left that out as like a talking point (laughs) (laughs) no i just saw it because it's like a gold cover so it was like eye grabbing attention grabbing right eye grabbing i yeah that's a thing okay see those hobgoblin glasses that we both got yeah for our birthdays from morgan um when i initially opened it i thought it was a hooters glass <laughs> because the, they, their branding their, the orange their glasses. branding is the same which i've it, it didn't used to be did it orange with white underneath so we've been like that has it i think so for a, for a long time, I anyway. Thought, I, I thought they were blue. Oh, the bottles are blue, yeah. Actually, I think they have... Yeah, they have this unofficial beer of Halloween thing that's always had orange on it. Oh, okay, right. I've never seen that before. Maybe it's just like a seasonal thing. Yes, that makes sense. <clears throat> uh, I think what else I got for my birthday so I don't miss anything important. Someone's offended that you didn't mention it on the podcast. Not even that, just, uh, you know, generally. i tell you what, though, because I, I got some stuff before my birthday. Oh, yeah. Um, because I think some people, like, you don't want to give someone a gift in front of 20 other people, necessarily. Mm-hmm. Especially if it's like, what if they don't like it? Or, or if it's something like a private joke or... Even if it's just like a heartfelt thing or whatever. Yeah. So I got some stuff beforehand. Um, and the group of us that did Friendmas, from them, um, I got a, a um, key hook 
thing. Like, I don't know what that's called. But like, to put it on your wall? To... Yeah, to put your keys on. But it's a martial amp. And oh, that it's sounds like a, great. Um, a jack from a guitar lead. You <gasps> put that on your key ring and then you plug Oh it, my plug god, I love that. That's so a... cute. Will you show me after? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, and I've got to decide where to put that. Cause I, can... I think it in the porch makes the most sense. Yeah. Yeah. That's boring for the podcast. Um, no, that's fine. And uh, be a tasting session at Brewdog. Ah. Oh. Which is exciting because I've never done that. Yeah, that's it's always good to get like an event as a present. Yes, yeah, because it, it firstly it encourages you to do something. Yeah. Secondly, you wouldn't ever buy yourself that. Yeah, definitely. Like you wouldn't be like, "Hey, I should go paintballing." <laughs> <laughs> this like, is, I'm just just talking about paintballing in every episode of this. Even even like items to, to get someone that are consumable, like I don't know. Like I keep getting my brother candles, like skull shaped candles. Right. But because they're like such a cool shape, he never like. You don't want to light them. Oh so my god! Now I'm like... same, same fucking thing. Same fucking thing. Yeah. I I because I'm a real bad hoarder, mm, right? Which is same. why tidying up for the party is so difficult. Because I'm not, I'm not like, I don't. I'm I'm clean. I'm a clean person, but yeah. my house is cluttered because I don't like throwing anything away, and especially if it functions still. If it works. So yeah. yeah. So I have. 500 carrier bags in the downstairs cupboard because I'm not gonna. What I'm gonna do is just throw them all away. Yeah, it's a, not friendly to the environment. True. Um, and so, yeah, things like novelty soap and stuff like that. Yeah. I have, You've got to just use it, you know, because. I know. Well, so, um, someone gave me one that was like they surplus, mm. right? Well. And she was like, I want to know what it smells like, but like, I didn't want to open it because I'm giving it to you. <laughs> So I was like, oh, well, then I'll open it, and then it'll be at my house when you come round. So I had to open it. Yeah. And that was like, it was good, because it was like, you, you, the use you have to do this yeah. now. And you enjoy using it? Yeah. I've, I've always been the same, though. Like, I was talking at your party to someone about um, <laughs> stickers. Like, yeah. I have a sticker collection, and I was trying to sort through it recently, because my flat has become uncluttered again as I bring more of my belongings from my mum's house. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I was like, wow, this is like, this is too far. And I've always been like, I can't use these stickers because it's, it's a waste. It's too precious, but I'm not enjoying them if they're just in a box. So I'm going to try and start using them, decorating things. Yeah. It'd be good. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good plan. Mm. The, th- the thing I think you benefit from with your living situation is you have a flatmate and a flatmate is way different than living with a partner. Yes. Because you have a shared living space that you have to maintain to a certain level. Yeah, because it's easier to be messy in front of a partner. Yeah. You wouldn't feel as bad. Yeah. And also, you wouldn't like... If they were like, can you tidy that up? You'd be You'd like, like yeah, well, can you do it? Do it, <laughs> do it in a bit. Like, yeah. And get to it. Um so yeah, I think that's I think that's a good thing, because the mess can't really spill out of your room, mm. but because it has to stay in your room, then it could get cluttered so quickly. Yeah, could smell me. Um, the the number of things that I pulled out of boxes because I I like cleared the downstairs cupboard, the Harry Potter cupboard under the stairs, oh. and it. I, there's boxes in there that I haven't opened since I moved in and put them in there, and I moved in six years ago. Wow. And I was opening... Yeah, because once they're in a cupboard, especially. Exactly. When are you going to go into a cupboard and look yeah. into a box? So I was opening it, and I was just like, what even is that? <laughs> when was that from? What the fuck is this? Who bought me that? You know, so so much stuff has gone to the tip, and it feels good. It's, it's a weight off my mind that there's yeah. space in that cupboard now. Nice. Throwing things away like fucking, oh, a, a teddy that says love and i'm like i guess an ex bought me this maybe because th- who else would have but yeah. it's weird and i don't know why i have it yeah um so a lot of stuff has gone so beer tasting at brewdog i'm excited to do because i don't know anything about beer yeah and people always assume because i only drink ipa people assume like oh i bet he like has loads of favorites and knows about craft beer and stuff and i'm like no i 
don't you just like what you like yeah i like i drink it and i'm like i either liked that or i didn't i don't know anything about anything yeah but i mean and this is mean and it's 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 just a bad opinion i think on my part but guys that know a lot about different kind of beers i don't like that (laughs) what here's the thing i want to know because I don't want someone to ask me a thing and then me have to think about how I don't know about that. <laughs> I want to know, but I don't want to talk to anyone about it. I don't okay. want to have a conversation about it yes. because Good. I'm not interested on your opinion. Yes. That's the thing. But you want to I... know if you like a hazy IPA. Yes, yeah. I would like to know like the, the science behind it or whatever. What it, however you want to describe that. I guess it's it science. science. Yeah. So I want to know the science behind it. But I don't want to chat to you about your favorite beer because I that, that's I not care. my favorite beer. Or yeah. if it is, then I already know. I don't. <laughs> it, you telling me things you like does not help me in any way. Mm. And that that's mainly only true with food and drink. If you tell me like a film you like, I can be like, well, you're this kind of person, so maybe you like the same films as me. Yeah, I think it it's e- if it's easier with films and stuff mm. because I think tastes are so different. Like actual. Yeah. Mouth tastes. Um, Mouth tastes. Any any time anyone talks to me about drinking, they just always, always, no matter what, say, "Oh, I bet you'll like this IPA." And I hate basically every IPA I've ever had, but people just assume it about me all the time. Mm. Like because I drink Guinness. Guinness is nothing like an IPA. It's no, like absolutely the opposite. not. Yeah, uh, absolutely not. So, I I don't like stout. So. I think it's just people, probably the people who talk about it more. I don't know. They just want to talk about it. It's not like, are they knowledgeable or do they just, I don't fucking know. I don't. I hate it anyway. I think maybe there's like an elitist element of it mm. where they're like, oh, you, you don't like it because you don't understand. Yes, that definitely is. But that's stupid. Because mm-hmm. like, if you love Carlsberg, I don't get it. But I, that's not yeah, but my I don't think problem. I don't... You, you just love Carlsberg because you've never tried bitter. Like, that's not true. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah exactly. I, I don't... It's n- it doesn't affect me if you only like to drink Fosters. Yeah. That's not good. That, you know what? Good. Now you won't drink my beer. <laughs> yeah. It's like kind of the opposite of what I say about food when... Um, you know, when they opened Taho Bell in England yeah, and people were like to me, oh my God, you must be like so excited because you love like Mexican food. Mm. And I was like, why would I be excited about that? That's like, I don't know. That would be like someone saying, I don't know, saying to someone from Italy, oh, you'll love this kebab shop around the corner from mine. They do pizza as well. Right. Why <laughs> yeah, would you yeah, love yeah. that? <laughs> yeah. But it's like oh, kind of like They the opened the worst option for that. So... You must love it. Yeah. But then that. it's not saying like people aren't allowed to like Tahoe Bell. You wouldn't say no. to someone who likes Tahoe Bell, like, oh. I guess it's like. I bet you would love to go to Mexico and eat their food. They probably would, but do you know what I mean? It's I, not I, the same. I do, I do know what you mean. Um, That isn't that. It's isn't, not the same. It's not landing. But... <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of a good descriptor, but it's not working. But it's, I guess it's because, like, sometimes you can have a soft spot for, like, the shit version of something. Yeah. Knowing it's the shit version. Yeah. Like, you can like a film because it's shit. You know what oh I mean? Oh, my God. Yeah. Most like, of the films I like are shit. <laughs> yeah. So, I, gu- I guess that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I'm going to go and learn about beer, and then I'll know which ones are worth trying for me. And that's that's it. That's why I would like to know. Mm-hmm. I'm not like, wow, I can't wait to tell people about why they like a certain beer. I don't care. Yeah. And I don't, like, I don't, I'm not going to be like, if someone says, oh, how's that? I'll be like, oh, it's uh, it's very hoppy. I'm not going to say. Uh, that, that's, <laughs> say it's nice. Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah, I like it. That's, that's what it's going to be like. Um, but I'm excited about that. And then, uh, our friend Abby made me a neon sign that says Daniel Cotton from Twitter. Oh, amazing. Which is very cool. I'm very excited about it. Uh, and she made it by hand. Wow. Instead of buying one. Um, so fancy. Which 
is Arty. like she told me in advance that she was making my gift and like they were going to like a diy shop and stuff and i was like what the hell are you doing like wow. what can this so it wasn't even be? like a kit it was like yeah no wow that's yeah. amazing yeah so um and that's a long phrase it's not just like yeah. a neon sign that says yeah. bar or oh, cheers. <laughs> yeah, four words and she had to like craft the fucking thing herself. Fuck, it's crazy. I, I would not be bothered. It looks great. Um, so yeah, um, I, that's it's very cool. So yeah, good good birthday this year. Um, and Morgan, our friend Morgan brought a bag of like, 15 gifts because that's wow. what morgan does is all through the year buys little gifts that she sees that she thinks people are gonna like cute and gives them a bag of gifts Very thoughtful. and then i feel incredibly guilty because i never buy anybody anything mm-hmm. i'm like oh cool i got you nothing and you spent the whole year <laughs> buying me gifts thinking about me you wrapped them all just yeah. she did wrap them all though. Wow. yeah crazy so i was very lucky been very lucky 2023 i'm gonna be more positive that's my plan that's my it's not quite a new year's resolution i guess because it's not like i guess it kind of is but i want to be more positive i like that yeah good luck thank you that was quite negative oh (laughs) it wasn't kind of was how is saying good luck negative i didn't mean the idea that like well just so you know you might fail at that, so... Well, you know, it's okay to <laughs> fail. And how are you going to implement this? Yeah, that's what everyone asks, which really? is... No one ever... You, no one has ever said a New Year's resolution someone's followed them up with a fucking interrogation about <laughs> it. I'm just going to try. Yeah, because your New Year's resolution isn't like, oh, I'm going to drink less, or it's not so sort of measurable. It's like a fucking concept. Exactly. So it's easier to do in a way. No. And it's... I think so, because if it's like, right, I'm going to give up this, like, that's a fucking nightmare. Whereas I can be more positive generally, even if some days are bad. Like, I could go, oh, this is terrible, but then something else that normally I would also think is terrible, I'd be more positive about. It's easier to... No, because you're going to do... You're supposed to do that thing, aren't you? What is it, like, smart goals or something? Where it's, like, each letter stands for something. It's got to be, like, reasonable. You know, like, reasonably achievable. You've got to have, like, a time frame for it. Okay, I didn't know you were (laughs) New Year's resolution administrator. (laughs) Consult with HR before I made my fucking resolution. (laughs) I'm just just going to try and generally not get as annoyed and down about things. Well, you know what? Actually, I've done the same. And I think it'll be good for you. And also... It's not even just about not being as negative as you would be, but you can just be more positive. For example, I love these little socks. <gasps> Thanks. Well, these... You should mention it. Sorry, go on. Was that in the same sentence? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like You can just be more positive. Like even you... if you don't d- remove the negative element, you could just add more positivity too. You've also got red socks. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. things like that. Like... Let's not show the camera. You might... <laughs> You can't see mine. Oh, yeah. The slipper socks. They've got penguins. Oh, that that's even better. <sighs> got penguins on. Yeah. I bet those would give people, what's that, phobia oh, where you don't like little... Trypophobia, maybe? Something, something like that, yeah. No, I don't know. But I think the sound of them walking on wooden right, floor is like ASMR. Maybe uh, not these ones. Yeah. Okay. I got new slippers from Christmas. Uh, they're like big like character ones and they're They've got a giant bat head on. Nice. Yeah, and they're really good. They're, like, comfortable. Um, Are they practical to walk around in, though? That's my only thing with those big... Well, well, I mean, I'm not, like, tiptoeing through small spaces, so <laughs> it's fine. There's, like, room enough to you in. <laughs> but the, the sole has like, has, like, really tiny, like, rubber grips on, like, loads of tiny. Hmm. And... <laughs> It kind of makes it sound like like I'm squelching around the flat, like because each of the tiny little rubber <laughs> yeah. things are sticking and unpeeling with every step. Yeah. That's it's funny. Like, yeah, I have uh, big Christmas pudding ones that are like that. Oh, but yeah, it's impractical to walk around the house in. And also, I used to have the Homer Simpson ones. They yeah, were, they were with always the... in the Argos catalog. So Where your foot was in his mouth. mouth. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We never really thought about that. So you just said that. <laughs> That's weird. Mm. 
did you get anything else for what? Christmas? Yeah. Um, yeah, I always get a lot. Actually, my family are really like we don't. I don't think we get like huge, like expensive things, but we do get each other like a lot of small gifts, which is nice because it's like it's just more fun to yeah. unwrap a lot, isn't Definitely. it? Definitely, and you feel like when you've got a pile of presents, even if like a lot of them are just like you know bath bombs or whatever like it's it's nice and um, you feel like you've you've got a a good reward for being a good girl but yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i like that i like yeah. i like a, a lot of gifts yeah and it's nice to give other people a lot of gifts well. i fucking love giving people gifts yeah. that's my favorite thing but i'm shit at like organizing so i would buy people the best gifts if i remembered like oh their birthday's in a month Yes, I often see stuff and I'm like, I'll get that soon. <laughs> yeah. And then I just never do. Yeah. And I'm like, ah, oh, I almost got you like so many good presents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's the thing. It's like it's having the money in the moment as well, mm-hmm. I suppose. But just generally, I think like, like you, it's it's getting my head around which which payday reflects that birthday. So like, yes, Aisha's birthday is in the middle of June. So, if I want to, like, and I get paid on the 28th of the month. So, if I want to have, make sure I've got her all of the stuff that I would like to get her, really, I you can't the, use the... May's payday for that yeah. because that, that only gives me 10 days to sort it out. And then also, you might want some money to, like, take her out or something. Exactly. So, that's that means you've got to start thinking about buying gifts when you get paid in April. Yeah, it's a long time. Long, yeah long and, way in advance and it's like i mean it's it's kind of it's easier for birthdays i guess but at christmas i find it really hard to be like okay think about what christmas is going to feel like in <laughs> october yeah and october is not even that early to start no 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 some people start like in the summer, summer. yeah or morgan starts in january yeah i couldn't i don't think i could do that hmm. but, well, like, where does she store it all <laughs> yeah man She's doing this for all of her friends. They all have a little stocking. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I would like my life to be more, less chaotic uh, in in some senses. Mm-hmm. I like that I'm always busy. You know, I don't think I would feel good if I wasn't. Mm-hmm. But I would love things to slow down a bit. There were a lot of weddings in 2022. And, <sighs> yeah. Um, a lot of traveling and a lot of tours. And I think I would like 2023 to be a little bit quieter. It's already not really on track to be, but there's a lot of stuff planned and uh, tickets to a lot of events and stuff like that. But uh, I would just like my life to be in order a little bit more. And if life can't slow down, then the only thing I can do is the stuff I can control, which is like... I do need to stop being such a hoarder. I do need to clear things out. I do need to generally live in a less cluttered way so that it's not everything's everything doesn't have to be last minute because it doesn't have to be like, okay, I need to wear clothes tomorrow so I should do the washing because all of the washing mm-hmm. is not done. You know, life doesn't have to be like that. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> so yeah, I would like to be be better, Daniel. That's my 2023 resolution be better you know what you should do use the time that you used to have to travel to wear to do stuff like that do you know what that i i hope i'm not alone in saying i really thought that that would happen and feel different but it does not <laughs> i used to have to be on like the seven fifteen train to get to work and now i don't have to get up to like 45 so that's when i get up yeah no that's understandable and i mean I, you know some people like to get up at five and have a coffee and have breakfast and all of that stuff. I don't do that. I don't enjoy it. I don't. I think that morning hours are less practical than evening hours, and so you've got less energy in the morning. Yeah, yeah. It's all all the morning is gathering yourself mm-hmm. psychologically, just getting it together, and it takes a long time. And if I could have one extra hour after work instead of before work. I'll take that every time. Yeah. So the hours where I would normally be traveling home, absolutely, I, I filled those hours, but with things like streaming. Right, yeah. Um. So, yeah, I, it's it's 
given me a lot of time and also the hour on lunch that's the, that's the significant good one. one when yeah. you can go and put a load of washing on yeah that's actually amazing mm. life-changing yeah but then the problem is the because you're not getting up and going anywhere really you need to get out of the house and walk around for that hour because otherwise, otherwise you, you just... won't walk anywhere all day and you, you won't go outside for like a week <laughs> yeah and i can't stay in the house the whole day mm. like if i if i've had to stay in the house all day if i've been hung over or whatever i'll go i'll go like out at 11 o'clock and just walk around that's good at night like because i can't yeah i've done the same i have to be out of the house i would i will like go to like tesco express at like quarter to 11 just mm-hmm. so i've I've been somewhere that day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, I think as well, just like the amount of walking. I mean, when we started having to work from home, I started doing like 6,000 steps less a day. So then I put on loads of weight because yeah, of course. obviously you cut back on. Like my lifestyle was fine until I stopped moving. Yeah. And then suddenly the lifestyle caught up with me. So um, then it took a long time to lose all that weight. So trying to trying to be better at not leaving be better at like making sure i walk around and stuff but that takes time it takes yeah. do you know how fucking long it takes to do ten thousand steps in a day which is what you're supposed to do yeah i know it's different isn't it like if you were walking as part of your job or yeah or whatever. like getting going to the train station yeah. walking from the train station to the office going and getting your lunch from tesco that's yeah. down the street like it it's it adds a lot of Steps that you don't feel like you're doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I always think that about... Um, a lot of people have said to me in the past, like, oh, like, I want to... I've been going to the gym, but, like, I feel like, you know, I'll never look like my personal trainer or, like, the gym instructor in my classes. Like, they just look amazing. Like, I don't know how they do it. And I'm like, yeah, because they exercise all day, every day for their job. You've got to find time outside of work yeah. to do that. Like, That's there's so just true. no comparison. That's very true. I guess maybe I should get one of those treadmill desks. Oh, that would be cool. Would it? No, <laughs> no. Be terrible. Yep. Yeah, but awful. you'd feel better for it. But the idea yeah. of it is just dreadful. Yeah, it does sound miserable. Yeah. <sighs> okay. I think that's it. Any uh, any what? other exciting Christmas stuff? Because I don't want to discuss Christmas ever again after we finish <laughs> finish this one. Really? Because um, it's it's going to be so far into January now when this comes out. Well, we spoke about um, a few episodes ago the Christmas decorations I had that were just Halloween decorations that I'd added Christmas hats to. Yeah. So now I've took all the, the Christmas tree and everything else down in my flat, but the spiders are still on the wall. and You're going to have to give them little Cupid's arrows. Yes, exactly. I'm trying, like, <laughs> I, I'm going to take the Christmas hats off them and try and find something else to go mm. with the next holiday. Yeah. Um, I went to the pound shop where I got the hats to try and see if they had any other craft items, but they're just still selling Christmas crafts for like half off. And like, there's still like two full aisles of it. <laughs> like, who is going to buy all this? Um, yeah. Well, people who are prepared. Yeah, Pe- that's, that's true. There's lots of people who are like, right, January's the perfect time to get all of my Christmas decorations. For no, the that, that's true. Um, y- yeah, you'd have to do little Cupid's bows. Um, a little Easter hat, Easter bonnet. I was gonna say, um, like a, a crucifix, Guinness, and a oh. rover or something for St. Yeah, Paddy's Day, yeah. and uh, yeah, some kind of Easter thing. Um, what else is there? There's not much going after that. Nah, Sunglasses. S- summer, summer, summer. So they don't have to fill it with holidays to stop us from getting depressed. <laughs> <laughs> that's honestly that's how I that's how I think it's they figured true. it all out. Like we have Christmas in winter because it's fucking miserable. Yeah, that's a good point. What if we could put like lights everywhere? Wouldn't that make us feel better? <laughs> let's do that. Oh my god! And let's, <laughs> yeah. But it's not anybody's birthday. Let's just fucking say it's God's birthday. <laughs> it's fine. It's funny. People will get it. Okay. Well then, this has been episode one three five. One three five. The one three five was the used to be the bus route that went into town from here. Wow! Yeah. Isn't it weird how things come full circle? Yeah. <laughs> Now, Let's go to town. <laughs> now I'm the 135. And now we're going to go to town. <laughs> this has been episode 135. Thank you very much for listening. If you want to support the show, it's at Pod on Patreon and all social media. And uh, thanks. We have a merch store that is coming. I know I've been saying this now for a year, maybe. Probably more. It's it's 
it's fucking coming because uh, we figured it all out. It's all it's all coming. I'm gonna let's look at that right after we do this. <sighs> okay. Um, only for like a minute. It's okay. fine. Just so. All right. Uh, so please keep an eye out because we will have some announcements coming soon. Ooh. And Sophie, have you anything to say? Uh, fuck Jared's beer. Oh wow, a classic vintage. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Bye bye. Are they still drunk? Are they hungover? Sophie and Daniel definitely not sober.